Hey everybody and welcome back to Fallout 3 No Loot. Today we're going to walk through this door and not get ambushed by Enclave. Oh no! Yep, flashbang. Oh, hi there, Ark Enclave. I didn't expect to be ambushed by you. Hey, Colonel Autumn. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the tech to come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. And then we black out, and we'll wake up in Raven Rock. Hey, Colonel Autumn. So, you're awake. Yep, I'm awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. Uh... This is some kind of mistake. You got the wrong person. <laughs> you really think I'm that stupid? Yes. I know you were there. I saw you. You're in a heap of trouble, kid. You're a traitor to the United States government. You know what happens to traders, don't you? They sell you and buy goods. Code, and maybe we can work out a deal for you. But you need to start talking right now. Uh, why do you want the code so badly? You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running, the more people suffer. Now I'm running out of patience, son. I want that code, and I want it now. Sure, the code's, uh, 216. Let's just make sure you're telling the truth. This is Colonel Autumn. Are your men in place, soldier? Affirmative, sir. Standing by for code transmission. Your code is 216. Repeat, 216. Confirm and enter. Copy, 216. Stand by, sir. Entering code now. So you let me go now, right? Thank you for cooperation. I'm afraid we no longer have need of your services. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. That. Why would you do that, Colonel Autumn? <laughs> yeah, if you give him the right code, he just shoots so, you to death. You're awake. Yes, I'm awake. Um. Some kind of mistake. You got the wrong version. Uh, why do you want the code? I don't know what the code is. You lie. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Hi, Mr. President. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. All right, sounds good. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. <laughs> possessions. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. I, I don't even know if I have any possessions in this locker. No. Oh, I have keys in Bobby a Bobby pin. I don't need any of these. Bye. So he actually means it when he says, don't tarry. Um, yeah, you, uh, if you run fast enough, you can avoid almost all combat in this area, which is what I'm going to do. All right, what was I raising? Um, I don't remember. 
Uh... If I do repair, I can do the quest in Megaton to fix the pipes. I might come back and change that in a second. I just don't remember what I'm trying to race. Alright, we're level 21, which means... Alright, I was going to start going towards Ninja. Which means I need melee weapons. Yeah, okay. And let's see. For this level, we're going to take... Uh, solar Pellet is pretty great, but I don't really want it because... You know, yeah. Grim Reaper Sprint is good. I could take light steps, so I'd stop standing on landmines, but uh, it's not going to be such a big deal. So, um, let's see. Let's take... Uh, well, um, we're going to take... Let's see. Grim Reaper Sprint gives us more action. Points. Tag would give us a little more damage. Light step and landmine. Robot expert lets us shut down robots. Mysterious stranger would give us a way to sometimes kill things because in that. Um, rad resistance is something we will apparently never get along with lead belly. Uh, take another level of intense training. We're going to take Grim Reaper Sprint. Whenever we kill something in VATS, all our action points are... Actually, no, we don't really kill things in VATS most of the time. It's a problem. Unless they're not hard to kill. Like when we were fighting... And we kill enough things in VATS that Grim Reaper Sprint's worth it. So if you leave... Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. Uh, speech 100%. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's calm down. I'm supposed to be here. On whose authority? I have no records of that. You're supposed to be in a holding cell. The president needs to speak to me in his office. What? No one sees the president except Colonel Autumn. Stand right there while I check this out. Yeah, I will Mr. President, stand I'm sorry to bother you. right here. Uh, this is Lieutenant Williams. I have an unauthorized... Stay down. Hey, right, we'll make our way over this way quickly. There's poor old. What's his name? Alright, yeah, so we head down this way, and then I guess we do make a left. And yeah, if you move quick enough, these guys won't attack you, which is pretty great. Hello. Um, I think we go through here, if I remember right. But you gotta move fast, because Colonel... Attention. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that, but Colonel Autumn just said that uh, we're to be shot on sight and you have to ignore his order. So yeah, now we're back to, you know, having to deal with bad guys, but it's not that big of a deal. If we're careful. We can actually avoid a lot of them. Scientist, yeah, go that way. Stay hidden. I think that's the right way. Alright. Or two B. We want to go up to two C and then one A. So I head this way. Um, if I remember with my BB gun run, I did this with a stealth boy because at one point there's um, 
guys that actually stand in a doorway. Am I going the wrong way? It's possible. I get lost in Raven Rock a lot. It's very... By the way, the loot in here is amazing. Like, if you're not a crazy man like me, you should totally... Yeah, I think that's the door we want over there. But I'm not sure. Um... You should totally loot this place. Yeah, I need to go that way. Nothing in here. But there is two um, Enclave soldiers right here that you can't get past without doing something about them. Nice, good hit. I don't know why he's running, but I'll let him. Where'd the other one go? Yeah, go down, go down. Enclave soldiers actually aren't all that hard. And yeah, we, those are the only two guys you have to fight if I remember right to get to where I need to go. Because these guys will get vaporized by the president. Easy peasy. Good job, guys. I appreciate that. So yeah, we're going to head upstairs here. Hey, Mr. President. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. President. You're too kind. Pleasure is mine, I assure you. I've been anxious to make your acquaintance for some time. You and I have much to discuss, my young friend. What can I do for you? You and I have a chance to make our country a better place for all of us. I'd like you to make sure that chance isn't wasted. Understand I am placing a great deal of trust in you. Your simple presence here proves that. All right, I, I'll do what I can to help. Just what I needed to hear. What I'm going to ask of you may seem a bit disturbing. I assure you there's a very good reason for it. I'd like to explain what I want you to do. Will you indulge me for a moment? Uh, please go on. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant. My soldiers cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this Brotherhood of Steel. Mutations like the super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. Uh, my father's work? How is this relevant? The purifier your father helped create has the ability clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. Uh, how exactly would I go about doing this? In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? Uh, I'll do that for you, Mr. I can do that for you, Mr. President. Excellent. Pleased to know that I can count on you. There isn't much time. I suggest you try.
travel there immediately. Once you've taken the vial, you're free to go. I'll do what I can to help speed your exit. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about your plan for the purifier. Certainly. I think it's a very good plan, frankly. I'm not often one to praise my own ideas, but it's a creative solution to a very serious problem. Won't this kill pretty much everyone in the wasteland? Anyone or anything that has been affected by mutation will be eliminated. You will likely be immune thanks to your upbringing in the vault. Likewise, the good people of the Enclave will be unaffected as well. I understand that you may have become sympathetic to certain individuals in your travels. Individuals this will eliminate. Please recognize that the fate of our entire country rests on this plan. Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. All right, where did this plan of yours come from? A great many years ago, the remnants of the government had a similar idea. I can only assume the plan failed. As I never heard word of its success. But the plan itself was sound. I made a few modifications, and with your help, I do believe it can work. There's a bright future ahead of us, my young friend. You seem like a swell guy, President Eden. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, sure. Uh, you can actually cause Eden to kill himself because, uh, you know, you want to destroy the base, but I don't want to do that. I'll be on my way then. Why do you want my help? I won't have Colonel Autumn help you. Ah, yes, Colonel Autumn, my trusted subordinate. I'm sure you've noticed that Colonel Autumn and I do not see eye to eye these days. Figuratively speaking, of course. Figuratively speaking, of course. Colonel and I disagree on how best to approach the problem of the wasteland. He feels my methods are too extreme. He's allowed his humanity to cloud his objectivity. And now that he is publicly countermanding my orders, I can no longer rely on him. And so, I turn to you. I hope that you are able to see the larger picture, to understand what's at stake. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And of course, if you're successful, there's a place for you on the Enclave. Perhaps you could succeed the Colonel as my confidant. Uh, all right, I'll be on my way then. I'm afraid that's not possible. Not until you well, yeah, I... No problem. Thanks for the vial. I'm also taking your plant, if I could. Alright, see you in... Alright, let's go. So yeah, as we head out, these guys are just gonna get wrecked by the President's robots and turrets, mostly. Not completely, though. I might have to do some work myself. Seriously? Okay, much better. Vertebrates taking off. Some more guys that initially scare you, but then freaking those guys come out and murder them. Assault drones. There's also a death flaw in here. But I don't have the ability to let him go, because I don't feel like hacking. I hate hacking. You know that. Yep, these guys have great loot. Makes me sad to leave them behind. This is one of the ones where I think I don't win, but I could be wrong. Now, it looks like they're getting wrecked pretty hard. Yeah. Oops, gotta be a little careful there. Oh, this is one where you have to fight. Nope, oh, there's guys over there. Help me out, guys. Yeah, take them out. Fighting is for suckers. You got. Oh, that guy's got a missile launcher. Ow. Ow. Stop missile launching me. Paralyzing bomb, come on. There we go. I'll just let the robots finish him off. Haha. <laughs> 
And then here's the door to the Capital Wasteland. I mean, you see Fox there helping us out. Yeah, Fox. Fox is one of my favorite companions when I play with companions. Because Gatling laser. Hey, Fox. My friend, I see I found you at last. I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue to repay my debt to you. Uh, looks like you got a new toy, huh? Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. Whoa, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. Fox, what the hell are you doing here? I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. It's okay. I owe you my freedom. I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. Uh, I could always use a hand. Would you like to follow me? I appreciate the offer, but I must decline. I have an entire world to explore. I must not be delayed any further. That's because my uh, I have read about my karma's not high enough. To the south, perhaps I will head there. Well, have a good time, Fox. Goodbye, my friend. Perhaps I will join you in the future if your goals are virtuous enough to draw me away. Yeah, because my karma's bad, I can't I can't acquire him. All right. Well, with that, let's swing by. Uh, Megaton. Oh, right. Uh, wow, I for totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, hang on a second. Um, Take a nap. Uh, all right, so uh, we'll head over to Citadel, and uh, yeah, we can continue on with this quest. Yes, I wish I had the ninja perk. Hi guys. I've never not blown up Raven Rock before. That was a weird feeling, because I know Raven Rock's supposed to blow up if you tell the president that he's an abomination and needs to blow it up. So it's kind of weird to have it, you know, actually still existing. That's nice. I don't really care. I just need to talk to Elder Lions. Head over this way. We sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gex, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Uh, well, I sort of, sort of, I found the Gek. Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. Wait, can I take it from me? 
Uh, I don't. I, that enclave took the get. They're installing it now. Then we must go at once. Yep. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Uh. I'm not going to tell him about the virus because then he takes it from me, but um, Enclave doesn't have the activation code. They can't start the purifier. Well, that gives us a little more time. But how long do we have before they figure it out? This makes this situation far more dire. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this! All right, Sarah. The pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly, I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, ah. I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. That's nice. The pride and I have decided... So congratulations. Oops. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Uh, um, she, uh, 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 just joined me, asked me to join the Lion's Pride, but I accidentally clicked through it because I was trying to see if I could move my camera around what's his face's head. Uh, I don't need your armor. I've gotten this far without it. Okay. It's your call. I'm just trying to protect you. If you think you can handle this, we need to get moving. All right, let's go. Of course I can. Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. I don't have any gear. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing step on you. Thank, thanks, Sarah. I'm sure that was a moving speech okay. that going to go freaking Rothschild breaked the whole time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. You stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. I think they'd prefer some form of alcohol instead of water, Sarah. You know. Anyways. And yeah, he starts setting up the robot. Elevator goes up. Go, Literary Prime, go! Yeah, this is a really annoying segment. They should have let me start walking like 30 seconds ago. And we got a bunch of XP. Not enough to kick us up to 22, but... Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, and we're doing Take It Back. And yeah, you get to see... Liberty Prime. Heading over that way. And we'll head out into the capital wasteland. And into a war zone. Bird of birds. Liberty Prime. Go, Liberty Prime. Yeah. Oh, 
No, seriously, start walking. Please. Any day now. Yeah! Go, Liberty Prime, go! Strike down my enemies. Yeah, so... Now we get this super interesting part of the game where we get to follow Liberty Prime for like... 10 minutes. And you're a lousy shot, bro. Ow. Stay away from that. Go, Liberty Prime, go! Ah, stop hitting me with rads! You're okay, buddy. Keep going. This combat's a lot scarier when it's hard to heal. Like, in the normal game, you're like, eh, if I get hit with an accidental explosion, I'm fine. But now I'm like, ah, oh, man, I really would like to get to that other section with full health and no rads. Thank, thanks, buddy. We appreciate you uh, liberating Anchorage. I, the first time I ever saw Liberty Prime, I'm like, why is he shooting laser beams from his face? That's weird. And then I'm like, there's totally laser guns in this game. That isn't weird at all. Go, Liberty Prime. So, how's it going, Vargas? Ow! Exactly like that. That's what I was talking about. I wonder if there's a fire. Oh. I wonder if there's a fire hydrant around here somewhere. Ow, rads. Stop the rads. Stop the rads. Please stop the rads. Stop shooting Liberty Prime, you weirdo. Ah, Hellfire troops are not easy to kill. I forgot about that. Nice, good hit. Ow, I might die here. I don't want to die here. Out. Come on, Pride, help me out. Don't go down, Vargas. There's any water up here. Or if it just leads to my death. Water? No? Found the irradiated metro. Oh, yay. Uh, you know, there's Enclave soldiers over there that Liberty Prime never takes out. Come on, guys. Let's go. This way. Come on. Take this out. Were you the one who hit me with the rocket? Fuck you, Night Captain Dog. What a dick. Stop shooting rockets. Unless you hit, then good job. You know, put that right into your friend, aren't you? Oh no, you didn't. Good job. Oh, Sarah picked up a, a heavy flamer. Good for her. <laughs> They're just shooting Liberty Prime because he wouldn't go forward while we 
He was waiting for us. Hang on, I'll be right back. Wait, nope, that's too steep. I won't be able to make it back up here. Alright, we'll wait a little bit. Yeah, wreck him. Oh, I did die. Great. Eh, oh, but it's not too bad. I was I was saved pretty close. Come on, guys, just wreck those on play. I wonder if I'm dying from friendly fire. That's a possibility. And with some paralyzing palm, that Oncliff store fight dude's gonna stay down. Yeah, take out the Red Menace. Uh, can I make it here? Yeah, I can make it down to the water here. You guys keep going, going. I'm gonna drink this horribly irradiated water. That's enough. Now Liberty Prime fell down. Oh, he's back up. It's okay. Good town, buddy. Bust added Project Purity, which I believe is to infected or not. Yeah. Good job, Liberty Prime. All right, guys, you coming? No, you're, you're not coming. I thought you were the one to say, don't get stepped by Liberty Prime, Lions. Alright, guys, we're going in. Come on. Stealth and into the Jefferson gift shop. Luckily, Lions comes with me, and she seems to have some sort of decent uh, weapon, which is pretty great. Normally I could turn that turret back on, but I kind of blew it up this time around. So we're just going to lead Sarah into combat. Go, Sarah. Go. Open up. Murder him. There you go. Yeah, getting wrecked. Is there water in here? I can't even remember if there was water in here. I know there's beds downstairs. I, <laughs> funnily enough, she's making it really hard for me to get in combat because I there's a little bit of splash damage on the um, incinerator and I don't want to end up getting caught on fire. Oh. Oh, you, oh, oh, no, you're gonna go to the assault rifle? Okay, now I can help out. Haha! -ha. Come here. Enclave soldier. Nice, go down. And then, uh... Maybe I can... Oh, nope. That won't help. But disarming you will. Yeah. Drop. Drop. Haha. <laughs> you kill this guy yet? Do I have to do everything for you? Ooh, a sink. Get some health back. For way less rads. Alright, uh... Continue this way. You 
could really pick up, you know, like, this plasma rifle and be a better shot, but whatever. Whoa! I did not see you. You surprised me, Enclave Soldier. Alright. Coming, sir. Alright, into the rotunda. Hey, Colonel Autumn. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Uh... Look, I don't want to fight you. You don't have to. Just stand there. It'll be over quicker and might even be less painful for you. You're a jerk. You're mine, Colonel Autumn. this guy's a couple times then we're gonna go back when we have one bats point and see if we can kill them. oh we aren't getting any uh, things to try to kill Colonel Adams and bats there we go he can stay down whoa who's shooting me oh forgot there's two of you in here come here buddy Out. There we go. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah. By now, the pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. Doctor Lee, Lee, it's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control fire. room. We're both here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotaged. There's pressure building up in the holding tank. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there were some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? I, I wish that was an option. Um, there must be some other way. I wish that were true. Really, I do. But you heard Dr. Lee. We have to do this right now. Or who knows how bad it'll be. Okay. One of us has to go in there. Uh, I'll do it. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. It's cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to run in here and put in the FEV virus so everybody dies. You don't watch this. That's uh, not lines. And... Uh, insert the modified FAV virus and then before we uh, enter into the end of the game last time I finished this game the volume was really really loud so I'm gonna turn it down a couple notches and see if that will help with uh, keeping you know like turn down that volume um, Continue. And then we type in the code, which is of course 317. Enter. Is it not 317? It's not. Uh, oh, yeah. It's your mother's favorite Bible verse, 2 1, uh, Revelations 21 6, but it's actually 612. Enter. No? 612. 2 1 6. Enter. Oh yeah, two, one, and six. Enter. There we go. 
and you activate the purifier, dooming the wastelands. I never liked them anyways. Haha, <laughs> suck it. Hopefully this next part should not be super loud like it was last time. Yeah. And then we die. And so it was oh, no. that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, and the Lone Wanderer ultimately surrendered to the vices that had claimed so many others. Selfishness, greed, cruelty. These were the values that guided a lost soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Sadly, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer agreed. Humanity would be preserved, but only in its purest form. The waters of life flowed at last, but the virus contained within soon eradicated all those deemed unworthy of salvation. The capital wasteland, despite its progress, became a graveyard. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. And there, and there we go. That's the end of uh, Fallout uh, uh, Three. Well, now of course with the Broken Steel da download added on, um, yeah, we will continue to the game. But we can't hear anything because I turned down the volume. Um, nope. Nope. Nope, nope, settings, audio, three. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. She's probably dead. Uh, where's Sarah? Is she okay? Yes, yes. She's fine. Or oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. How did I get here? Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Uh? Well, wow, well, thanks for taking care of me. I'm out of here. I wonder if you might be willing to 
aid us a bit further. No. While we've had a decisive victory, the enclave threat hasn't been removed yet. Uh, is there? No thanks. I've had enough of this. That's a shame. We could use your assistance. And since you have done so much to aid our cause and proven yourself more than capable, you have been named a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. That's sweet. Should you change your mind, Scry Rothschild can brief you on what's been going on these last few weeks. He sounds really disappointed when you say, nah, I'm leaving. There's some Aqua Pura, which is great. That's the... Ooh, and a level up. Uh, I guess we'll keep putting melee weapons up towards 80. And at level 22, we pick up, uh... I guess we pick up whatever we want. Um, no. 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 Take light step, finally. Haha! <laughs> no more landmines for you. And the quest has added death from above. But that is actually the end of Fallout 3. Uh, this is all the Broken Steel DLC that they added afterwards, and also the fact that a lot of people complained that, uh... Um... The game just... They complain the game just ends when you, uh... Um, uh... Once you get done. So yeah, uh, look around. Very cool water purifier stuff, pumping up this horrifically toxic water to hurt people. And if you head over here, no radiation. You know, all that time that we had the problems. But yeah, and we die. Turns out our own evil has finally killed us as... FEV water does indeed kill us. That's because even though um, Eden tells you that you're fine, um, oh, we're going to level up again, uh, you weren't born in the vault, so you aren't a, a non-mutated human, you're, and your parents weren't either, so yeah. Um, well, there you go. That's the end of fallout no loot uh i hope you enjoyed the series um i had a lot of fun doing it and it was quite a bit more difficult than i would thought be it would be in some places but yeah so um a couple weeks here we'll probably or weeks days i don't know Soon here, we'll have a new uh, series up. I'm not sure if it's going to be a Fallout 3 challenge run. It might be something else, but there's going to be something new taking the slot. So um, I hope you enjoyed the episode and the series. Uh, feel free to you know like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye.